I had a really great time last night. Oh, girl. You wouldn't be messing me up, trying to make me look crazy out here. I had a great time last night. I went to Soho House for the first time. Oh, girl, not the bees. Car keys got bees. I went to Soho House for the first time, and it was real nice in there. It was real fun. It was like a club, but then also a hotel, but then also a lounge. Oh, my God, like... I really love it here. Like, I think I'm gonna move out here. Like, the vibe and everything is just. Like, this is my vibe. I hope it is. I really felt good energy in there. I didn't feel like people were too concerned about like how they looked i was <laughs> girl i was i was wearing my curology sweatshirt you, you wore a jean vest i was like get me out of here i wanted to dance so bad i knew i would sweat so bad in that sweatshirt baby that's why they call it that we went out to eat two, at two different places one was called um the, <laughs> Um, something market something or other what pardon me the second place we went to was called duck duck goat and i'm obsessed food is so good the vibe is always so good girl what is this a telephone Hello. Oh, see, this is what I don't be liking about this damn train. Look at this train. Why would it stop way down there? Oh, no, nah, we gotta go. No, I'm running, 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 running. I was headed to the Contemporary Art Museum, but then I was like, I watched the video this morning on like architecture. And all the buildings are so different from one another. Like, there's some more modern ones. These ones right here are like super famous. It's winter. Look how cool. Hey y'all, hey boats. Hello. This is an architecture tour that they're doing. What if I just hopped off this bridge onto that boat? What if I just jumped on down? <laughs> Give me a free little tour. Girl, I'm learning something. Hi. <laughs> Not everybody's waving. You would be be waving at people on boats and we'd be like, hi. Hello. It's like, Okay, I guess, girl, hi. Oh, that is something interesting that I haven't noticed here. There's not any development of new buildings. Like in New York City, you'll see sky, sky cranes and all that stuff. But here, it's just, everything is already built. There's not too much construction going on. Cause the guy down there on the boat tour was like, this building right here is the last commercial structure built. Personal Heaven is a contemporary art museum. Let's go. That's it. Thank you. Look how beautiful. <laughs> It's so beautiful, like somebody painted that. Rebecca Morris painted it. I'm saying somebody. The girl's name is Rebecca Morris. She's from Los Angeles. Over 21 years, put together this exhibit. Abstract, geometrical, colored in, a, in an interesting way. And these are sick. It, it's not like it's controlled, but it's like organic. It's not like sloppy. You know how people just be going into the room and they just be throwing paint on the canvas? Fabulous! I live for this! This feels like intentional, unique. Another thing I love about museums is that there's always like this, this moment. <laughs> there's always an engagement zone and they will have like activities set up for you to be interactive with some kind of art or encourage you to make some kind of art. And there's a terrace, of course, of course. Museums love to triangulate people, but on the inside <laughs> of their place. Like they need the people to gather. And it's usually like a sculpture garden. See, this one is sick because I don't know if you can see, but the foreground is in focus and the background is kind of blurred out. Whoa! All done with painting, huh? Let's talk about that. All right, so now I'm in. Uh, I'm at this place called Um. Baroncini? Who? Oh no, what? Bar Barsoni? Barcosina, there we go. And I think there's like a drag brunch or something happening. The girls invited me out. <laughs> I've been out all day. I'm like, I don't know if I have time, <laughs> energy for this one. I'm gonna wake it up a little bit because I'm hungry.
poison ivy. Endurance, stamina, forget the geriatric bat. Finished up drag brunch <laughs> and now I'm um, going on a boat tour. Woo! Yeah, girl, we going on a boat. With Wendella boat rides. You can do these sunset like architecture tours, even though it's kind of cloudy out, so you ain't really seeing no sunset. Cold as hell. I didn't have time to go back to my place to get a jacket, to get my bigger jacket. But like, I know when we get started, it's gonna be real chilly, so I'm sitting here real tight. <laughs> oh, I'm sitting tight. Oh, I'm sitting tight. But already the buildings look really cool, except for this one. Military base, in which we eventually became the city. You can walk past me. Yeah, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, what kind of that is? Somebody yelled at me. So we're in some situation right now where we have to come <laughs> inside this thing and it locks on both sides. Water goes up. <laughs> They're just like pouring water into this area. It raises the boat to the height of the, the other river. They mediate the directional flow of the water. and go about to fly off my I'll fly off of here. Thank God there's like a little inside area where you can like get drinks and sit down. Oh cool and there's a bathroom. Um but I was crying. I never seen someone cry with the tears not coming out so I, I just want to make sure you're okay. Because it's an inner cry bitch. Girl, I was crying from the cold. Oh you can buy drinks and stuff. That's cute. Oh, 
all done. Bye. It was way colder out on the water than it is like actually in Chicago. So I'm like good now, but I was so scared. Also, there's this phenomenon that is happening all over downtown where the city is literally lifted up and there's like roads beneath the city. So like, let me get out of here. It's kind of stinking. Y'all, this is Jean-Baptiste Pont du Sable. This is the African Caribbean man who opened up the first trading post here in Chicago, which established Chicago. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? He's of Haitian descent. This is the Du Sable bridge that we're crossing. <sighs> Guys, I lost my sunglasses. I don't know where they are. It's tough because I was being so careful about it this trip. I was like, put them in your Put them in your jacket pocket. Put them in your bag. But if you're not gonna wear them, usually you're like, oh, actually, I don't remember where I put them last. But I remember putting them in my jacket. I had them on that boat. Never let it go. Oh, oh, oh. I wonder if they have a lost and found. I'm gonna call the boat. Anyway, I'm off to the Museum of Ice Cream. Yay, I gotta go be happy at the Museum of Ice Cream. You know, losing a pair of sunglasses like these ones, these aren't just like sunglasses I picked up from the gas station. These were sunglasses that I looked for for a very long time. And then I found the perfect style and I was like, oh my God, these are so great. And then I looked at the price tag and I was like, ah, ooh, girl. <laughs> but in a, bad, in a bad way. And I was like, okay, I'll pay that girl. I'm gonna invest in these because I'm gonna have these for a very long time. And that was the train I was supposed to get on. a lovely 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 day never gonna buy sunglasses again so i was like this is fine this is an investment but losing them damn feeling like i have to go buy these sunglasses again feels akin to like your landlord raising your rate it's it's that exact feeling it's like i don't want to but i have to because for me sunglasses are truly necessary i get a headache every single time if i walk out walk around with no sunglasses on i'm back at the boat tour <laughs> no oh. okay thank you Okay, that sucks. Oh, where the hell could my sunglasses be? Did I just drop them in the street? That sucks so much. Okay, I thought I was coming to terms with losing my sunglasses, but I'm holding on, I'm scared, I'm sad. I'm honestly just here to see if it's worth it and then report back to y'all. Girl, I've heard so much about the Museum of Ice Cream. It's like, please, enough, enough, okay, I'll go. I've had it, enough. You know what but I'm gonna like report back to y'all, tell y'all if it's worth it, what the experience entails. Cause it's giving like gimmick we inside. Why ice cream when it's like two degrees outside? Oprah Winfrey, Lady Fingers, Dariana Grande, Rihanna, Pachac Obama, Never Short Drake, uh-uh. <laughs> I know it's backwards, but badonka chonk. Give you ice cream in every single room, so you just go and try out the ice creams. With dark chocolate. Ew. I'm lactose and taller. Now y'all know I'm lactose and taller. We're like at the station. Oh, we're about to depart, y'all. Do y'all need me to drive this bitch? Let's go! I really paid like $40 to eat ice cream. <laughs> to eat a death bar at that. Like, I could have got this at CBS, baby. Oh my god. Okay, y'all, this is my stop. I'm getting out. Yeah. <laughs> I'm out of here. Yeah. Thank you. Appreciate it. You just walk through. I don't know how long the experience typically takes, but they encourage you to sit down, enjoy your little ice cream. But that, that train wasn't going nowhere. <laughs> it's cute. Look, it's a whole bar in here. Look at this. Oh, look at this. Look at they got cocktails with ice cream. Girl, I feel like I already paid to get in here. I'm not paying $20. <laughs> for another drink. Yeah. Will. Will. Will not Willie on Instagram. Okay. Okay. I don't know what that is. Girl, I feel like I'm. This is an episode of Survivor, and I'm on. A, I'm doing a challenge. I think it's just like tick tock or um, connect four, maybe. Ah, okay, I see, I see. You want to battle real quick? Yeah, okay. Oh, there's red ones and white ones? I prefer white. White? No, you can take white. Unless you, okay, okay. You're an AKA. I'd rather have white. Okay. Oh, no! That's whatever. You got me. I was too busy trying to, like, do something up there. 
<laughs> okay, you got it. You won. You won. I accept the defeat. <laughs> Good game. <laughs> Y'all are lost. Bananas. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm in the, I'm in the banana drawer. So? No, I'm saying now. I mean, I like this. I like the. Um... It just seemed super surreal. Everything was um, next level. Colors. I loved it. I loved all the prints. Oh, the LED screens. <laughs> they have like flavor palettes according to your sign. Aquarius apparently rainbow sprinkles and caramel sauce. Sweet, salty, and floral. Imaginative, innovative, visionary. Aww, a gratitude vlog. Aww. Oh, you is what the. F okay. Let's we'll spin this thing. Instead of having to choose, you can just spin the wheel and get your. Fix. Wait a minute, hold on. It's it, a little kind of friction. Yes, cute. Okay, let's just, oh, hell no. You can also, at this station, blow up a balloon and like draw on it so they have markers. It's just a pile of balloons like all open and kids are just like touching all on it and I'm like, I'm not gonna put my mouth on that. Are you from I'm, Chicago? I am from Chicago. Oh. I saw you, I was like, I was like, wait a minute. I was like, wait, you look familiar. That's so I was funny. like, I'm not sure. I pretty much got vanilla ice cream with pot rocks. That's cute. Let's taste it actually. Hold up, that's really good. I mean, that's a fun experience. Pot rocks and ice cream? Crazy. Okay, this is what I wanted. I wanted like history of ice cream. I wanted like facts. Understanding of how to make ice cream. It's not really giving that. It's not giving like who were the major players. Oh, I guess so. It's just this one tiny room for it. There's a lady here teaching us how to make ice cream. But I want to know like, when did ice cream start? Who ate ice cream? What are the political? <laughs> Uh, political conversations around ice cream. There's so much that I'm, I feel like I, sh I could learn about ice cream. I feel like I'm getting that here. What do we have here? Oh, okay, finally. So it is telling us a little bit of history. Thank God. Barack Obama's first job was at an ice cream shop. That's cool. This was fun, I just <laughs> played this fun little game where you smell, it's like a whole, it's like a strong scent coming through these little vents. And then you can lift up the latch and it tells you like what the flavor is. So you can test your smelling senses. And uh, these were hard. Like how do you know what red bean ice cream smell like? Girl, who put that in there? I'm about to try some ice cream that I think has mustard. Oh no, it's a mustard hot dog. An ice cream mustard hot dog? What the f Girl, what? <laughs> Uh -huh. Okay, so it's just bread. I thought it'd be like cake or something, but it's just bread, ice cream, hot dog flavored ice cream. I'll take one ice cream flavored hot dog. Awesome, perfect. <laughs> it sounds crazy, but it's it's like when you eat it, you're like, oh, it's like okay. Right. Yeah, you're like okay. okay. All right. All right. Everyone's usually is like, oh, I'm not. Yeah, all right. <laughs> That's just like regular relish. Regular relish, black for Halloween. <laughs> what? You know, just make it as scary looking as possible. That's crazy. <laughs> just mustard. And mustard. What? Yeah. Excuse me, I'm f***ing out of here right now. What the hell? Okay. And now it's yours. Thank you. <laughs> what is going on? Good. It's hot dog flavored ice cream. Regular sesame seed bun, relish, and mustard. We got fair games here. We got little rides here. Oh, we got basketball. We're about to play basketball. Hi, my name is Trey. I have a basketball game tomorrow. Well, I'm a point guard. I got a shoe game. Sign me up for the lead. The monster. Thank you. Wow. Okay, girl. I got a lot in my hand now. I got a. An ice cream hot dog, Cookie Monster ice cream. I feel like it'd be fun to come here with your friends. If your friends are a good time, you'll have a good time here. But it feels like mostly an experience for the kids. Like it's very much that. And you can take like a cute picture, put it on Instagram. It's not giving what I need, a fun way to understand the history of ice cream. Some of the stuff I had to like ask like, what even is this? The music has been on point. What? What's 
this. We about to go into ice cream space, baby. I'm scared. Oh. Now here we are in the infamous sprinkle pool. I'm not getting in there, baby. I'm not getting in there. Mm -mm. Just look at this. Mom, yeah, because you're dirty. Thank you. I'm out of here. That was cute. That was fun. Same with ice cream. Was it worth it? Was it not? Um. Oh, cute. You can like put your sticker over here. <laughs> it's so crazy. I would say that it's worth it if you go with your friends. You know what I mean? and your good Judy's and you just trying to have like a goofy time. You can drink in there so it can be like, you know, that kind of experience for you. But for the most part, it's kind of a lot of kids. There's a lot of kids in there. And for me, uh, <clears throat> a bougie germaphobe, I'm not touching half the stuff in there. And they don't really have too many stations where you can just get like hand sanitizer or even go to the bathroom. I didn't see any bathrooms in there. I needed it to be a little bit heavier on the history of ice cream. They exceeded my expectations with the type of ice cream they had available. Like that hot dog ice cream stain was crazy. Like I just ate an ice cream hot dog. <laughs> like what? Now I'm out here in Chicago. This city is so beautiful. Fully into this city and I'm, I have to move here now. Like, oh, just, I just got sad all over again because I lost my sunglasses. Okay, let's turn the camera off, cut the cameras. Get off here. I got on the wrong bus, but it kind of took me where I needed to go anyway. I'm on back at Grant Park. Grant Park houses Millennium Park, which houses Cloudgate, which is also known as The Bean. Close back to this place called The Hot Dog Box, which is, I think, this black owned kind of hot dog spot. And if you know anything about Chicago, Chicago does hot dogs. They do a specific kind of hot dog. It's called the Chicago Hot Dog. It has no ketchup on it. A hot dog, tomato, I think a pickle. And maybe some lettuce, girl, I don't know. <gasps> oh, this is perfect. Stan's donuts and a hot box. Ah. <laughs> Not a hot box, child, a hot dog box. All right, so it's time to try a Chicago hot dog. The girls think this is a hair company. They always say curlology. It's not curls, baby. We got three different hot dogs here. This one is called the Mac City. Okay. It's supposed to be kind of like a Mac book. What? It's supposed to be kind of like a Mac book. I mean, what? What? <laughs> a Mac, like a Big Mac. I ain't never seen somebody put cherry tomatoes on a hot dog. That's wild. And apparently they like dip the hot dogs in what? In what, baby? Mmm. Mm. Wow, she's really good. Oh. You can remove the lid. This is good. Delicioso. What's doing it for me is the flavor of the hot dog itself, but also this brioche bun that's kind of soaked in something. I don't know, it's dipped in the mustard. La mostaza. Mm hmm. Tell them bring out the whole ocean. Let's see. This one is the bourbon. I asked the cashier, who was very nice, very sweet, by the way, what the most popular order is here. And he was like, the bourbon. Oh, wow. I was not expecting this. Woo! That's the bourbon. She did fall over a little bit in the in the bag. My bad. Barbecue steak or something on top of the burger with a cabbage kind of coleslaw situation. Good thing I ain't wearing white today. Watch me eat. Mm. Wait a minute. Hold on. What's the alcohol content? Because it's tasting a little bit like this is tasting. It's a sweet, rich bourbon flavor, and I love the kind of it's like crispy bits. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And last but not least. Oh, what the f is that? Not a whole bunch of juice just fell onto my pants. Okay, so I was wrong. The first hot dog was actually the Chicago style hot dog. Good, tasty. This one is a, Whoa. oh my God, more? This one is the Big Mac Looper, oh. which is a play on the Big Mac. Okay, uh, all right. Don't look that appetizing, actually, when I look at it. Um. <laughs> um. But when I think about it, a Big Mac don't be looking that good either. Have you, when's the last time y'all had a Big Mac? Was it crispy? Right, right. Mm. They got sesame seeds on the hot dog bun. It's actually pretty tasty. But out of the three, my least favorite. My favorite, I think, has to be. It has to be the Chicago style. Woo! Go Chicago! Woo! Oh! Give me my ketchup, Chicago. Yeah! Let's try Stan's Donuts. Smells so good. Pumpkin spice. Mm. Like Stan's Donuts. Apparently, it's just giving Dunkin' Donuts here. It's almost as accessible as a Dunkin' Donuts. I don't see any Krispy Kreme anywhere. Mm. 
Mm. Yeah, it's so good. It's an old fashioned donut as well. It's little stuff falling off and I'm eating them off the paper. And I'm eating them off the paper. Chicago donut history was made in 2014. That's when artist and baker Rich Labriola, 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 Rich Labriola opened the first stands in Chicago. The result of a friendship and partnership formed years later with Stan Berman, founder of the iconic Los Angeles shops that bears his name. Today, there are multiple locations of stands, donuts, and coffee in the Chicago area, serving a vast array of freshly made donuts, locally roasted coffee, and whimsical experiences devoted to a community of donut lovers. It was pretty tasty. It was a little sweet these will give me a headache this is the okay the biscoff the biscoff donut mm, that is tasty let's open it up <gasps> there is something in there there's like biscoff butter give her her tins now next up we have birthday cake Yo, Yo, it's your birthday. This not real something's not composition of that smell is not something sinister about it it's a cake donut, and I think it's white chocolate. The sprinkles are a little disruptive on a cake donut. I don't know, something about it is not right. The cake is so fluffy, and they're using these kinds of sprinkles. You know, like the circular ones. And those to me give me a textural experience of pebbles, dirt, and rocks. Lastly, we have glaze. Cause I wanted to just try like what their glaze situation is like. Cause I'm a classic man. No, you ain't. Hmm. Something about the flavor of this isn't hitting as hard. Like I need a little bit more, I think it's nutmeg, but the donut itself is a perfect consistency. It's not doughy, which sometimes I feel like I'm eating just like bread. I don't know, I would say Stan's Donuts is a go. I am on my way at literally 1 a.m. to go get a deep dish Chicago pizza. Cause I was like, I'm not going to leave this place without getting one of these dang on pizzas. Girl, what you about to do, blow up? Um, I'm at this bus stop around the corner from my, where I'm staying. The bus stops are cool because they have these things. I, I've seen this in LA, but they tell you exactly when the buses are coming. Guess who was here 40 minutes ago? Me. Google said the bus was delayed five minutes, so I walked here, like, keeping that in mind. And then when I got here, like, right as I was walking up, the bus was pulling off. So this time, I'm here 10 minutes early. Okay, it's time to try the Chicago pizza, the deep dish, huh? I got a little personal pan pizza. I forgot that you can do that. Ah, it's so thick. Oh my gosh. Is this the right one? Did I order this? This has a whole bunch of extra stuff on here. I guess this is what it all comes with. It's burnt up on the side. It's burnt up. Girl, you really need a fork and a knife for this. Anytime I hear somebody talk about a deep dish pizza, they talk about how nasty it is. <laughs> Why y'all don't like this? Wait, that is so good. It's a little spicy. <laughs> Why is it so spicy? Turn the hot heat this down. The sauce is flavored to perfection. I watched the whole video on deep dish pizza today. This man went all around town in Chicago and found deep dish pizza. He went to Uno's Pizza, which is like the founding father of this stuff. He went to a few others and then he went to Pequod's, which is where I got this from. Even the burnt part tastes good. Whoa, this got a little bit of foil on it. Every time I Swallow my damn neck hurt. So I'm closing out my trip in Chicago. I saw my friends, I hung out with them, spent quality time with them. I got to know some of the neighborhoods here, specifically West Loop. I spent a lot of time in West Loop. I went to Boys Town for brunch, that was cute. I took a boat on Chicago River out into the Mid Lake Michigan. I went to the Contemporary Art Museum. I went to Millennium Park, saw the bean, and then I walked along Lake Michigan. I went to the Museum of Ice Cream. I tried Stan's Donuts, a Chicago style hot dog, and deep dish pizza. Girl, I fe I'm feeling fulfilled, I don't know about you. I'm gonna finish my pizza and I'm gonna talk to y'all in the next city. Bye.